happy Saturday. So, uh, let's see, what, what are we doing? This is uh, Dark Gimpy, currently level 30 out of 40. I thought you can only get to level 15 in vanilla. You can, but this isn't vanilla. We're using mods. And um, so you can get up to level 40 with this. It means you can get all the buttons. Although we don't really need all the buttons. That's why we haven't picked a lot of these at the end yet. Because we don't really need them. So, anyway. So again, Dark Gimpy, level 30, stuff. Um, our fleet. Oh, I guess you would go over factions first. For those that don't know, the Star Wars uh, mod has uh, adds a bunch of factions from the Star Wars universe. And in order to keep things a little bit more balanced, what we do is we start off as a with a random universe or galaxy, and uh, we eliminate all the major vanilla factions. Why? Because they don't stand up real well against the Star Wars technologies. So, in order to make the game a little bit more interesting, we only use. Uh, the Star Wars factions, along with a couple of the vanilla factions, just to keep things a little interesting, like the Pirates, Independence, and Ludic Path. Why those three? Everybody hates Ludic Path, everybody hates the Pirates, and almost everybody gets along with the Independence. So that's why we do that. As far as the other factions, these are Star Wars, Black Suns, Criminal Syndicate, CIS, these are the droid armies from the Clone Wars, Chiss Ascendancy, these are the blue guys you see running around in various video games. Also friends of the Empire. The Empire is, of course, the Empire. First Order, this is the remnants of the Empire after uh, uh, Return of the Jedi and much farther into the future. That involves the movies that should not be talked about. Uh, Mandalorians, if you don't know who the Mandalorians are, you should be watching the stream. New Republic, this is the Republic. The New Republic after the Return of the Jedi, of course. Republic, this is before A New Hope. Uh, and then, or, or aka, the first Star Wars movie. Not the first episode, just the first Star Wars movie. Uh, Zan Consortium, another criminal syndicate, and that's it for factions so far. So, those guys. And we currently have a commission, or working on commission with the Empire, so that means all their friends are our friends, and all their enemies are their, our enemies. So that's how that works. So, so we're friends with the Chiss, First Order, and the Independents. Right? Are we? The independent is friendly to us, so yeah, so you can just see. So cooperative, 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 and friendly. Everybody else, they hate us, plain and simple. So that's how that goes. Hey, Dispirator, welcome back. Okay, so now we can look at our ships. Okay, so this is our current fleet. Um, we've got a Imperial 2, the Imperial 2 Star Destroyer. There we go. Uh, that's Gimpy's flagship. Um, then we also have an Allegiance. This is a battle cruiser. Um, it's bigger than a Star Destroyer. It doesn't carry any missiles, but it, or fighters. It's just a straight-up gunship. It's got nothing but energy hard points. So that's what that does. Then we've got three Victory One Star Destroyers, which are missile boats. Two Victory Twos, which are missile or gunboat. Sorry, missile boats gunboats. Then we have two Venators, which are the Imperial version. Yes, there are different versions of Venators. Um, there's the Republic version and then the Imperial version. We have the Imperial version. What are they? They're basically carriers. Cruiser sized carriers. Then we have a uh, Acclimator, which is a wannabe Star Destroyer. And then we have three uh, Mandalorian ships that we salvage from them, because that's what we do sometimes. Um, the Azure class uh, cruiser, which is basically a straight-up gunship, no fighters, no nothing. So, not quite as many point, not as many operating points as a Victory or a, a Victory Two Star Destroyer, because that's got 400. These are like three something, right? 370. And the reason for that is because these guys carry fighters; these guys don't. They're a little bit smaller too, I think. Who's piloting the Allegiance? Currently, it is. Commander Nil Sarian, so nobody currently in the channel. You are still assigned to the Venator. Because you're a carrier type person. You know, this is a requires a gunship pilot. You're kind of a, a carrier pilot. So where's your tech door? In your dreams. You can buy chess ships on the military tab without commission while commissioned by the Empire or First Order. Correct. Are the Venators named? They're not named, but are they? I 
Imperial Pomona Bennett, and that's Imperial Pomona, and this one is Vukruz's Demise. One of them is named. Waiting for the executor then? Okay. Or executor, whatever. Okay, so. So we got those, those, these guys, and then for destroyer side ships, we've got a gladiator, which is basically a carrier with a lot of guns on it for a destroyer. And then we have, this is a first order escort carrier, kind of similar to the gladiator, just not as many guns. And then we also have a uh, salt uh, frigate Mark II that we salvaged from the New Republic, just because we could, it's a gunship. Right? Yeah, it's a straight up gunship. Then we also have this uh, Majestic, which we got from the New Republic as well. It's a two missile, two small energy, 13 medium energy, one fighter ray. Fair amount of firepower for a destroyer. You name that one? Oh, I don't even remember who named these stuff. Okay, and then we also, oh sorry, we're not down here yet. We are at uh, the Black Sun our Corona class. These are Black Sun uh, destroyers. Uh, we keep them around because they are useful. They're very versatile. Small, four small energy for shooting down point down for doing point stuff, point defense stuff. Sorry, eight medium energy for shooting bigger stuff. Eight small and missiles to shooting everything and one fighter bay. Then we also have an Arquitens that's flying around again, an even smaller wannabe star destroyer basically. And then we have a Rokea class frigate, or Ch oh, so another Chiss. This is a Chiss frigate. It's basically very, let's see, four medium energy, four small, four, four small missile, four small energy. So it brings quite a bit of punch to the fight as a frigate. And then we have the Lancer for shooting down missiles and fighters, and then a Marauder. That's basically a little missile boat and tankers, or sorry, freighters and a tanker. One spot open because that's how it is right now. Okay, so there's our fleet. Uh, colonies. We currently have five colonies. We've got Rocketville, which is the capital. As you can see, we're not making a whole lot of money still. Because of reasons. Another boss fight already? Boss fight? Tully, did you hear that? There is a boss fight starting. That's right. I said Tully. Unlike Gimpy. I know the difference between Tubby and Tully. So basically, these colonies aren't making a whole lot of money because, what is it, Rocketville still needs to build a mine to make some, to do some exporting and making money that way. It does have Commerce Station, or portion there at least. Um, Mickey's uh, Ball of Snow. What's this issue? Why is he not making money? Oh, the hazard pay. We have to run with the hazard pay, otherwise there's not enough growth on the planet, so that's what's killing us there. But even then, he's a fairly new colony too. Yeah, with only one industry. So once he gets up to two, I think it'd be better. Do you have any idea how you will be streaming around Christmas and New Year? Uh, probably same as usual. I'm not, we're not going anywhere. So... It'll be pretty typical. Basically, it won't be streaming on Christmas Day. Um, but uh, the rest of the day should be open. Um, it written normal stream schedule, probably. And then New Year's Day, we always stream on New Year's Day. And New Year's Eve, we'll probably be doing the uh, portion of the stream will be the recap of the year on New, year, on New Year's Eve, like we did the last couple of years. That's the plan. So nothing special. Like I say, we're not going anywhere. Okay, and then we have, let's see, well, Snow, and then Sicily, this is our newest uh, colony, so it's still working on stuff, waiting for the way station to get built, and then we'll probably build a mining thing after that. I guess I should load, load that up, can't we? Mining. To take advantage of these uh, rich rare ores, sparse ores, and com or, sorry, common organics. Okay, so... Ogre and a diaper killed everybody. Good job, Ogre. Ogre is dum dum number nine on your bingo card. Number nine. Oh, and don't forget that uh, the top six uh, point earners in bingo this month will be the new bosses, or be new bosses next month, like we're doing this year, or doing this month in December. We took the top six people from November, turned them into bosses, and then uh, so you guys get to see them on a regular basis, hopefully. 
And then starting January 1st, we'll have uh, hopefully a new group <laughs> of bosses. We'll see. Um, if you want to check out, see who's in the lead currently, just go to your leaderboard. Uh, section of their bingo card and check out either the last seven days or the last 30 days last seven days gives you a better idea of who's uh, doing well because we're only you know first uh, week and a half into the month so that's a good idea you could look at the last 30 days but that really doesn't count until the end of the month but it's not that different from the seven looks like it's pretty similar it's the same people looks like yeah again we're looking at the top six Oh, the top six for the 30 is not the same as the last seven. So we could have a new boss next month at this rate. Anyway, all you need to do is, uh, like I said, play bingo, earn points, and you too could be a boss starting January 1st. Okay, so, um, so what am I doing today in Star Sector? We are doing trying to make money because we are technically losing money every month. <laughs> We're losing 50 grand a month, so we have to continually fight to, or at least, yeah, continually fight to earn money. To make money, to get from salvage and that kind of fun stuff. Uh, do bounties if we can find them, although I don't think there's any close to us currently. Bounties, yeah, see there's no bounties close to us right now. We could fly out here and do this, but... Which one's this one? 300,000? How many days on that one? 53 days left. Mon or New Republic stuff. Endurance class? Oh, I don't think we've seen those before. Are those new? I know we've seen nebulas, but I don't remember seeing the endurances. Hmm. 300 grand, 53 days. And this one, 20 days. I don't think we'll find that one at 20 days. So you. She's going to be hiding out near a barren world in a binary star system. I mean, that one? Because <laughs> she's in the Asmalda, whatever. So that's going to be that one there. That's where she's going to be hiding out. So I think we'll... Oh, I thought it could technically be this one, too. They count these as binary systems. And saying she's hiding near a barren world is not Hello everyone. very useful. My name is Veronica and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also find Gimpy on YouTube where he posts previous episodes and highlights of the stream. Just scroll down under the video screen and click the YouTube button in the About section. Then click the Subscribe button to follow. That's it. Thanks. Yep, thank you and uh, happy Saturday. Okay, so... We already... No, we didn't. Did we do the ogre? I don't think we did. Yeah, we did. We just did the ogre. Okay, so we're going to head over there, but first we're going to grab some more supplies, I think, if they're available here. I know we already cleaned them out, apparently. Okay, so all that stuff. Um, leave. Any other planets we can visit here that will give us stuff? Oh, the First Order. Okay, so we're going to go visit the First Order and... Uh, Get some more supplies because two grand isn't going to last us very long, especially after a fight or so. Apparently, we cleaned them out too. Somebody did. Mm, let's see. It's a Black Sun Empire. So, put that away. Anyway. Ugh. I forgot to take my stuff this morning. What is Gimpy eating today? Do 
short-term plans to go win this uh, bounty. Almonds? If almonds have ibuprofen on them, sure. Cleaned out everybody here. Ibuprofen, not candy. Yep. It's not candy, but I sure eat it like it is sometimes. Okay, so again, headed over. Pretty sure there's gonna be down here. Let's see, so we're barren here. There and there. We'll hit this one first. Does my knee bother me? This morning a little bit, but today it's more about the headache. jumping to do here so let's get aligned a little better and then we will jump yeah the weather's changing if we're get, like I said we're getting or I said earlier we're getting rain tomorrow which means all my joints are killing me today for the most part they'll hurt more tomorrow once the rain starts though George replacements, but it's slightly more difficult with heads. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. Okay, so the person we're looking for is not here. We're going to still survey this planet real quick. Oh, we've already been here. They're working on it. Yeah, they'll probably happen the day after I die. Okay, so the other where are we? Okay, so go visit this uh Baron next and go from there. Simple solution equals don't die. Well, it seems like a not so easy solution, but. Okay, so these are the guys we're looking for. We guesstimated correctly. So, again, big bounty for these guys. Got a lot of fighters, it looks like. No big deal. It'll be an interesting fight. Can't stop me. Okay, just die already. You're bothering me. Oh, you're boring me, not bothering, boring. So you guys, uh, carriers for the fighter stuff and missiles, so many missiles. Kill them all, well, that's the plan. Okay, we're gonna set up defense here. That way everybody sticks together that way and against larger fleets it tends to work better too, typically. <sighs> Drunk pilots again. Oh yeah, actually the we need to well mid range goals for the stream I guess are to uh we need to set up an industry planet so that we can start making our own stuff because we do not have the Empire is not uh producing a lot of stuff for us to buy. So we need specifically, you know, better turbo lasers and fighters and stuff. So we need to start producing our own stuff. So that's a that's the one of the goals of the stream. Fingers crossed. Boss fight. Is this boss fight going to be against one of the top bingo players from last month? I hope so. They were so annoying. 
Okay, some fighters after those guys. Oh yeah, first fight of the day. Always laggy. Until assets get loaded, right? You say oops quite often. Do you need assistance? Kill the marauder. Kill the marauder. Kill the fighters. Okay, as soon as we get past this junk heap right there. So I think we can, we're pretty clustered, right? So we can get rid of this now. So ships can go do their thing. Make some more targets for fighter strikes. Okay. Uh, cybernetic Zealot killed everybody. We've already seen you. So go to your boss fight. Go to your bingo cards, click a number you need, and good luck. Come here, carcass, get out of my way. I'm gonna call my fighters for now. There we go. Uh oh. Where'd they come from? That's where they came from. So, to keep this guy made a good choice or what? Concentrating firepower. Running Got a fair amount of fighters. But they keep walking in front of my lasers, so I'm not too concerned. Those B wings, those aren't B wings. Saturday are and they? Sunday, December 17th and 18th, are the monthly giveaways for December. A $25 Steam gift card will be given away each day. You have to be a follower of the channel and present to win. Check with Gimpy if you have any questions about the giveaway. Thanks for watching. That's right. Giveaways are next weekend already. We've got a quick start here in December. But the good news is you'll have your, if you happen to win, you'll have your gift card before Christmas or just in time for the winter sale on Steam. How could that be true? Well, that's the way the calendars work. Some the fighters after this nebulon. Forget. Oh, he's got a tractor beam. Didn't save him. Okay, dropping shields to get some heat back. Help with that guy. Fighters there. I think we have this. Junk in my way again. 
so I see Mickey and Rocket in front of the door. Mrs. Gimpy was in here like two minutes ago and she told me something, but I can't remember what she said. And I don't know if it's, she's leaving, but I don't remember her taking the dogs out. So I don't know where she is. <laughs> but having said that, it just means we get to put the dog cam up for at least temporarily. And there they are, guarding the front door. How big will be the present bunk? Oh, it's not talking. What is that noise? Is the tongue out? From that position, probably not. Oh, he's going to get away because we're at the end of the map, you chicken shit. <laughs> chicken shit. Bounties aren't supposed to run. But we shall pursue them. Um, I think command. Bring in more fighters and... So they are running from us, so we can deploy the frigates that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that should be okay. It's only the four, so these guys' job is to make sure they don't get away. Okay, so it's that one. These guys on search up here. So did I think we got three out of the four before they got away. So it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, I don't see the fourth one now. Wife is getting this switch light with Animal Crossing. He shaped black backpack and I get an O E. Ship recovery, anything good here? Um you have to bring it all on the way back if you want to sell it, so nah. Salvage. Thank you for the 300 grand on bounty. And that's it for here. Is there something here? No. 
Okay, so that belongs to the Empire all the way out here. What do that for? Wow. Okay, so we got that bounty. Oh, it was for the New Republic even. No, that's okay. This bounty is what? Oh, 41 days left. We need to do this one too while we're out here. Okay, so we're to be hiding out near a desert world in a system with an orange primary star in the uh, Shagana constellation. So not there. Shagana constellation, where's this? Oh, it's right there. Let's have to zoom in a little bit. Okay, so it's going to be here. And there's a desert planet in there, but we've already been there. Off we go. Buying all the Le all the Legos? That's a lot of Legos to buy. Very, uh... Come on, Generous. you pansy. Get back in there and fight. It's also a death trap for your feet. Boss fight. Tully, did you hear that? There is a boss fight starting. That's right. I said Tully. Unlike Gimpy, I know the difference between Tubby and Tully. That's the one we're going to. This one we don't care. Now Zan Consortium and Pirates. Now we can bypass them. Dun, dun, dun. Typing is hard. It is. Welcome back, Infernal. Why do you think I talk? It's a desert world. That's the way we're going. Okay, so Mrs. Gimpy leaving was temporary, it looks like. By using the telepathy, it was much faster. What? But it's not available to everybody yet, Boo Cruels. Okay, so this other bounty against these guys. Oh, look, they got a Providence. That's okay. We'll crush them. Yes, Mrs. Gimpy is back, so that means dog cam goes off for now. It'll be back on soon enough. Bring in the victory twos this time. That should be enough. And Xanthium. Just a second. Miss, just a second. Mrs. Gippy, Mrs. Gippy, please talk to me. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. She just came in here to steal some of my gum. Okay, so what was it doing? Oh, we just did, let's see, boss fight. Xanthium and Vukrils beat up on a Mislinx with not enough machine gun ammo. Or sorry, one too many machine guns. Sorry, that's number eight on your bingo card. And because you guys won, that means you get a free vote. So go back to your bingo cards and click a number you need. Okay, so now we get done.
There they are. Yeah, they're spread out a little bit. Providence is the main threat. To our little lock gun with that Providence there, I think. Where are they? Yeah, a little bit. Send the fighters in. Get them. Holding fire for maximum effect. point defense there, shooting down those missiles that we watched come in and hit us really slowly. You guys hear the vacuum? Not sure if you can hear it or not. She's coming down the hallway.
Uh, okay. Look at brave little Vukruls taking on this, whatever it is, by himself, mostly. Okay, not by yourself anymore, but... That almost looks like a design from Cosmoteer, that ship right there. help with rocket he's he's just laying there looking at her just a second get care of this stuff real quick and stuff it's another bounty okay just a second be back in a minute or so gotta leash up rocket Hey bag of water, stretch your legs. You have been sitting in one spot for far too long. Okay, I'm back. Rocket and step, ready to go. Okay, so we did uh, two bounties in this area. Picked up an extra 500k it looks like, and... Uh, where are we? Oh, this planet. We've surveyed this planet already. Boss fight. Tubby, did you hear that? There is a boss fight starting. I heard the squirrel is looking for you. So not the best colony. That's why we didn't do this one yet already. So. Okay, so... Wrong stuff. We are looking for any more bounties in this area, but we got them all, looks like, because that one's already done. That's too far away. 40 grand? Really? <laughs> That's not even worth the fuel. Uh, gates out here to make my life cheater. Oh, there it is. Okay, so. Go find that gate. Quicken our trip a little bit. And there you are.
need to find more remnants. We need more cores. Okay, so who do we want to pick on? Got more money to make still. Get some empire planets up there. Kuat. To unsurvey. Could go hit up the Empire Planets, pick up some Marines and stuff, which is what I should do. So, I can pick them up there. Go beat up on the Mandalorians, Ludic Path, the Mandal and Pirates there. Yeah, let's go here. Uh, Piranha with not a machine gun ammo killed everyone. That is number 11 on your bingo card. Number 11. the Empire first, see if they got any Marines for us, because I do need a few more. We only have under 400. This allows us to do raids and whatever, cause trouble. As much trouble as possible. Steal stuff. Well, sorry, not repurpose stuff. Re reacquire stuff. Uh, liberate. Sorry, liberate is the correct word. See what's this? Base lance, don't care. Not a horrible price on supplies. We need those. There, a thousand marines to cause trouble. Okay, so what kind of ships do they have for sale here? Tankers. What's this? Imperial Saturn Module Task Force Class Custom Cruiser. Task Force Cruiser was a port vessel class by the Tank Industry Shipyards, limited to for the Clement Galactic Empire. These ships functional as a generic framework on which mission function modules could be mounted and reconfigured as necessary. It's based on configuration. The ship consisted of a command section, a life support section, quarters for our skeleton crew, and an engineering section. Since this was a support vessel, armament was lighter for its size. Light for its size. On its own, the baseline configuration did little more than transport a small amount of cargo. The real purpose of this framework was to carry mission-specific modules, mission okay stuff. Deploy a probe droid, 10 medium energy, and two fighter bays. So this ship is basically worthless. Ship is worthless. <laughs> Three hundred fifty thousand and things that you can't really do much with that. You can't do much with that thing at all. Crazy check screws and curiosities, apparently. Okay, let's see what they have for the military side of things at least. Here's your tech door for 876,000. Oh look, we just can't afford it. Black market. Tech door, does it have fighter base? It does not. You don't get a tech door, Vukruels. I hate to break it to you. Tech doors don't fit your, uh, your skill set. That they don't have fighter bays, so you don't get one. You have to wait for something, you know, in that class range that's 
yeah. You waited for a secular? Yeah, well, it's gonna be a while before we get one of those, too. It does. Maybe too many. Pick on the black sun up there. Guess we're not friends with them, right? Double check. The black sun is not our friend. Currently at war with the Empire. Right? Yep. Okay, so. Could cause trouble. Or not. We'll take the leftovers though. Don't want those. See, free stuff. Just wait for the fights to happen and get free stuff afterwards. Need to pick up some Chiss capital ships. Why would I do that? I'm Empire, not Chiss. We, when we do these theme runs, we try to stick to specific types of, you know, ships. Basically, unless we can salvage it, we won't buy it. If it's not Empire, Empires are the only oh, Empire ships are the only ones we can actually buy. This is a theme run, so uh, let's see uh, military options. Oh look, he's got friends. We don't care. No, not a raid. Come back. Gauge defenses. See, we have to do theme runs to make the game a little bit more interesting, otherwise it gets really, really easy. Not that playing with the empires makes it difficult, but if you do anything goes type runs, it just gets too easy too fast. So, fighter strikes everywhere. Hello everyone. My name is Veronica and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also find Gimpy on YouTube where he posts previous episodes and highlights of the stream. Just scroll down under the video screen and click the YouTube button in the About section. Then click the Subscribe button to follow. That's it. Thanks. Yep, thanks and happy Saturday. There's a possibility for doing the Chiss Clip Chips run. After this one, we can actually work for the Chiss. But we stopped a little while to go on this one, I think. Because usually we don't finish, we don't stop a run until the, we hit level 40. That's usually when we're pretty maxed out with stuff. Year? I don't think so. Hey Jeff, come back. Am I winning? Yeah. This fight we're definitely winning. Next year. Yeah, it could be next year. Literally. Next year isn't that far away. <laughs> we're the hounds. Uh, they are currently on their morning walk, Jeff. They just did leave a few minutes ago.
the station's gonna get in the way. Oh, what are you doing over there? Boss fight. Is this another one of those fights for that boss fight bingo game? You people take way too much pleasure in beating up poor little kittens and helpless squirrels. They do. So is that guy gonna die? He is not gonna die, he's gonna get away. Oh well. Then the fighter's available. I could have taken those ships and sold them here in system. Damn it, I forgot about that. Okay, um, oral bombardment. Take out their military stuff. 558 fuel. Problem. Military stuff. Launch a raid. What do you have here? Nothing really good. Uh, we can raid the drugs. A lot of money there, but. Organics at 30 per unit. I'll take the organics for a change. Unless we can get a lot of supplies out of this. A couple hundred. Let's go that route. This will pay for our... Uh, oops. Wrong button. I do not think oops means what you think it means. It does. This will pay for our cost for taking this planet. So, 94% effectiveness. And go. Lost 47 marines. And almost 500 supplies. And cute little kitten killed everyone. Good job, kitten. Kitten is number two, I think. Kitten is number two on your bingo card. So go to your bingo card and click number two. Okay, so. Uh, Oh, we can't do a raid. That's right, we have to wait a day before another raid. Yeah, good. Salvage still. Look, they've got a fire problem. They had a fire problem. They went away quickly. So this Tundra world, we could take this actually. Do we want to? No. Going for the most important tea run? But I was just about to say that uh, in about an hour or so we're going to be playing some Warhammer 40k tra or Rogue Trader. <laughs> just a reminder. Like I said, it's about an hour or so. We're going to be switching over to that for a little bit and see how long it takes. Why? Because we can. Rogue Trader Alpha phase testing. Alpha testing, that's what it is. Anyway, coming up in an hour. It's all Vukuzo's fault. It's independent, so that's it for this system, isn't it? So we got Ludic Path, Mandalorians, and Pirates down in that system. And look, there's a gate. So we'll take the gate down there to save us a little bit of time. Got to look at how's our storage. Not too bad. Okay, they are gone. Wasn't sure if that was a wreckage or not.
Where's our mining fleet? Okay, so we decided to go down here, go pick on a couple of those guys. It's been a while since we've been over here, I think. Turn our transponder off so they don't know who we are exactly. And go get up on the pirates that are closest. I'll go that way, and then go get the Mandalorians over there. Sell stuff here. Uh, all that metal we don't need. Heavy machinery. Uh, any Marines to hire? The nope. crew? How are we doing on crew? We're almost a thousand over on crew, so we're good. Supplies are yeah, we're good. Okay. Military options. Launch a raid. There's no defenders. Over the bombardment. There's nothing to bomb. So, all right. The heavy machinery we just sold to them. <laughs> Take it back. Get back plus more. <laughs> Actually, no, we sold more than that. So we will take some of the heavy machinery we just sold to them. 98% effectiveness. And we lost four Marines. I think that's fair. Sell them a couple of thousand or a little over a thousand heavy machinery, then we take about a thousand back. Totally fair. That's the real way you do business. How you guys doing? Still almost there for an upgrade. Sicily, working on mining. Okay, so this is Bob's Beach House, Arid World. build heavy industry here. Bomb's garden. So, we want to do... When this hits in three, we can put heavy industry on here and I'll have all the stuff on planet. That'd be a little bit easier, I think. Sorry, Bob's Beach House. So, what do you want to build here then? Farming, mining. It's a commerce. Fuel production, can we 
do that. Oh, we can actually do fuel production here because we have volatiles. We do need fuel. Hmm. Oh, sorry, those are organics, not volatiles. So, never mind, we don't want to do fuel production here. Uh, refining. Turn the metal into useful metals. Oh, we do need to do that. So, yeah, before we do heavy industry, we need to do this. But this is not the planet to do it on because it only produces regular ore, and that's it. So, we could do the heavy industry here and it gets shipped in. We can just do commerce. Uh, let's do heavy industry. Get that going. And then Bob's Garden. This is the one that's going to have the refining on it. Because we need this stuff turned into the metals. So it'll be a little bit Anyway, and we need heavy industry so we can produce our own stuff, weapons, ships, make our patrols better, ship patrols, whatever. Save us a lot of money, a lot of time. Friendly. We should help you guys, or not. Oh, my transponder's off so they don't know that we're friendly. Try again. We just need one ship. We'll be fine. Build us some seculars. I don't know if I can build a secular in all honesty. I have to check my blueprint, uh, blueprints to see what I currently know how to build. Boss fight. Is this boss fight going to be against one of the top bingo players from last month? I hope so. They were so annoying. Wow. That was impressive. Okay, I'm slowing down. We're going in. There, I'm just sit here and just shoot. Do not walk in front of me, you idiots. We're gonna diaper, I've already seen that one. Oh, we're gonna diaper, I've already seen, so go to your bingo cards, click a number you need, and good luck. Hi, Lytic Path, how's it going? Um, orbital bombardment, tactical. Take out their military stuff. Yeah, what kind of raid can we do against them? Um, supplies. How many 
many supplies can we get? 300? Not really a lot of stuff worth raiding. And supplies is about it. worth of metals if we get 30 for them eh, sure 97 percent efficiency so we lost three marines okay so now we're not going to be able to sell this stuff anywhere but We'll see if, how much the independents will talk to us or not. I mean, we did help them beat up on that station. They wouldn't have taken it without us. But they probably don't see it that way. Oh, maybe they do. They're not upset. Okay, so. We will sell this metal. That we got for free. And Vukrul's got a bingo. Congratulations, Bingo. Or congratulations, Vukrul. Congratulations, Bingo. Get some more Marines. Supplies. Oh, they're fairly cheap. But we got a lot, too. No Marines from the military? That's wrong. Okay, go beat up on Mandalorians next. Uh oh, Vengeance Fleet from the Black Sun is coming after me. Whatever shall I do? And kill the station. Aren't your legs getting stiff? You haven't moved in quite a while. Stretch, damn it, you ignorant meatbag. I'm good. We don't really need the vendors, but it'll make it go that much faster. because we can and go then we'll do a raid and see what they have here so again nothing special again
375 supplies. I don't think he can help pay for the little raid here. Much bigger space station of a fight with the Allegiance. Well, the two, the Imperial 2 and the Allegiance take that station no problem. It's just the Venator speed things up with the fighters. So instead of a, you know, five minute fight, cuts it down to two and a half. Lost 31 Marines, but picked up 400 supplies. With the downside to bring the Venators in, it eats up more supplies and lose some crew in the process too, sometimes. Depending on how many fighters die. But anyway. That. Uh, uh, somewhere next. Got no ca uh, colony threats. Important stuff. Nothing really going on here. The Genesis Project. How far away is that? do some exploring because we do need remnants uh, we need AI cores and we haven't been over here this area yet we can establish a, a station or a outpost so we can get supplies and fuel while we're over here and we didn't really check out the black hole very much either I don't think we explored it actually so, mm. so, take this gate over to there and then fly down this way. Or can just fly directly over there. Probably be easier just to fly directly over there. But anyway, happy. Saturday, everyone. Thank you very much for coming out. Much appreciated. Hope you have a good weekend so far. Oh. Interfering with my ability to jump. They're pursuing my fleet? Why would they be doing such a thing? You're totally innocent for what we're doing over here. I don't want to fight them out here because um, we don't get as much salvage. Why is he chasing me? He's not going to win this fight. Why does he think he's going to? What does he know that I don't know? Death wish, it's gotta be. I don't understand why they chase me down. They don't have the advantage here. Just gonna make sure everybody sticks together for the initial engagement, and then we'll, after we kill a couple of ships, we'll let everybody go nuts. Okay, slowing down. Come on, idiot, it's not that hard. Okay, so fighters go beat up on them. All the small guys.
Where are my fighters and why are they all dead? I'll scrap to you first. You're the big threat for them, I think. Targeting at maximum firepower. Just order them not to die? so easy to say that, but so difficult to actually do. Forming up. Oh, I guess we don't need to do this anymore. I think they might be rethinking their uh, whole, oh, we can kill them strategy. Okay, dropping shields, she drops, gets her heat back. Saturday and Sunday, December 17th and 18 are the monthly giveaways for December. A $25 Steam gift card will be given away each day. You have to be a follower of the channel and present to win. Check with Gimpy if you have any questions about the giveaway. Thanks for watching. Yep, thanks for watching again. That's next weekend already. Seems like it was yesterday, doesn't it? But the good news is, is uh, the winners are out gift cards just in time for the Steam Winter Sale. Starting my run. Wow. <laughs> I kind of beat them up, or beat that thing up pretty quick, didn't I? See you guys. Can I help out over here, would you? This is well, this is mostly under control. Two vanitors. Let's see how the pools does. Let's see if he can fight and drink tea at the same time. Apparently tea makes you better with missiles. Just stream and drinking at the same time. It's not the same. So not the same. I'm drinking and playing a video game and watching chat at the same time. It's not as hard as you think it is. Yeah, this is Gwydian, I think. Gwydian looks like he might be in trouble. You're not drinking tea. No, I'm drinking water. It's even harder because there's no stimulants in there. One. Or is it over yet? Still not over. Why aren't these dead yet?
to Vukro still working on this one. Not sure why the skip rays are sitting back, but. Get away. I would like to point out to this captain that you have a lot of missiles to use him. I'm confused why you're not using them. Because he's well within missile range. Is he, wait he must be waiting for their shields to go down or something. Which is funny because those missiles are good at taking down shields. So I don't know. I guess the AI doesn't know how that works. You better not let him get away. He can't get away. You guys are so passive. There's no reason not to be shooting missiles. They're well with, this thing is well within missile range of both of those. I don't know why they're not more aggressive than they are. Well within range. Maybe it's because of the way the group weapons are grouped, maybe? Second command, you guys haven't done anything really yet. We're, oh, we're right in the middle of space, so no salvage after this. We'll take you, we'll cart you around for a little bit. Mothball, you say I don't need up my crew and supplies. Keep going. How much farther we have to go? Almost there. So, again, we're doing some exploring out here. We're going to check out this black hole, see if there's anything interesting by it. So sometimes there's research stations around these black holes. Why research stations are important? Because you get blueprints and other stuff from them. Lots of resources, typically. If they're there, of course. It doesn't look like there are any close to here, so... It's going to be a big fat zero. Nope, nothing. Okay. Okay, orange star, red dwarf. So we'll go here next. We haven't been there yet. And just go out here. Here. Boss fight. Is this another one of those fights for that boss fight bingo game? You people take way too much pleasure in beating up poor little kittens and helpless squirrels. They do. They really, really do. It says something about my viewers. Or does it say more about me? Because I let them do it. Hmm, there's a thought. <laughs> okay, navigating the storms. This is a really big thing. Squirrel stew? It sounds gross. Unless you're a dog. Stock a 
up on ingredients. But squirrels, why would you want to eat squirrel meat? There can't be a whole lot of meat on a squirrel. Have you seen those things in the wild? Oh, there's no planets here. But what we can do is find an asteroid, maybe, and put an outpost on it. Or we can explore some more instead. They can get pretty big. Well, it depends on where they are. The squirrels around us aren't very big. And if you're in Arizona, you know the squirrels there, the ground squirrels don't get very big. You don't have the regular, the, the big tree, the gray tree squirrels, which get friggin' huge because all the acorns they eat. But the ground squirrels around here don't get very big. Well, Payson's up in the mountains. They're eating acorns up there. <laughs> Those aren't the ground squirrels. Those are the tree squirrels. Oh, and let's see. Cybernetic Zealot. Uh, let's see. We've already seen you, so go to your bingo cards, click a number, and good luck. Those squirrels collaborating with vicious kittens. They could be. They could be. Those are the squirrels you'd hunt. But why would you hunt those squirrels still? I mean, what are they doing to you? They're all hey, they're doing bag is of eating water. Stretch your legs. You have been sitting in one spot for far too long. Yes, I crunk. Yeah, so not a good system here. Tasty one cooked with Montreal steak seasoning, but you don't live in Montreal. <laughs> but you're not in Montreal. Ah, <laughs> uh, crab volcanic. We're just gonna take a look at this gas giant. See what this is. Also, I forgot to look. Is there any? St uh, there's no gates here. Walmart. Try not to shop at Walmart. Diffuse there. Yeah. I have Blue Giant. Okay, so we're gonna hit the Blue Giant, then move up through this area. Exploring. Hey, Gwydion, welcome back. Why did we just get a ping back here? What did I miss? Somebody following me? Somebody's following me. Okay, so these this is the the uh what is it? Black whatever. The pirates, they're looking for me because they're upset that I friggin' destroyed one of their star stations and bombed one of their plants. I don't know what the problem is. Black Sun, there we go, Black Sun. Uh, let's see, I'll bring in the Victory 2, just for fun. Bingo vote. Okay, go to your bingo cards, click on the read, need to get closer to bingo, and good luck. Oh yeah, Mrs. Gimpy is gone now, so I just saw this. This reminded me. Dog cam's up.
are these the phase guys? Yep. Okay then. Can't stay phased forever. And when you do, we get to shoot your friends behind you. Hey, dropping shields, get some heat back. Call fighters, and shields back up. I didn't assign any targets. Uh, that, that, these guys down here. Use the phase ships for last. I told you can't phase forever. Sucks to be them, doesn't it? So those guys are going to get away, not much we can do about it. We should get those. I think this is Gwydion. I think this is Gwydion. He's the captain. Piloting, uh, or, yeah, pilot, I guess, in charge of who cruises the mines. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> more fighters. What did I not... What did you not do? You didn't kill enough stuff. I think what happened is you volunteered a few weeks back to be a captain. And then Xanthium came in and, re and named it the Cruz's Demise. You didn't choose it, but somebody else did. <laughs> it's what happens. You kill enough stuff, without a doubt. Actually, we can verify to see what, what we, we didn't did, because we're using a mod to track that stuff now. Nothing's out of action, no worries. Stuff. And we shall pursue them with second command. So you guys. Here, I'll give you a gunship and an acclimator to play around with. And one still gets away. I don't care about that stuff. It's all wreckage. More here. Okay, so that was a uh, revenge fleet coming after us. Oh, wait, I was going to check out this gap. Oh, I already surveyed this. Never mind. Uh, we're headed, headed down this way. I'm oh, sorry, there's no planets here. Go on the blue giant, then we're going back up that way. I'll get it right one of these days. How do we 
losing 80 grand. Oh, keep you leveled up. Welcome to level 31. Uh, let's see. Navigating a fleet spin up, blah, blah, blah. Plus 50% to command point recovery rates. Stuff. Officer management. Mystic stuff. Why are there no dogs in front of the dog camp? So this is the point where we don't actually don't need to go up to level 40. Uh, let's see, Ockburn for how it's fighting ships. We don't care about that. No link. Eh, I guess we'll get this one coordinated maneuver stuff. Not these guys. Uh, acclimator, so kind of a carrier person. Take the shield stuff. Gladiator. So another carrier person, maybe. This boat. So when close with weapons, do more damage. Energy weapons. Sure. Come on, you pansy. Get back in there and fight. Look at all these extra people we have sitting around doing nothing. It's okay. Now what I was thinking about though is the um, missile boats. Victory ones. So I think part of the problem is we have all the missiles in the same group. Those there, and then put these missiles into split groups. Sorry, he's on the right spot either. Okay, Let's see if this works a little bit better for him. driver. Of course we have extras on us. Is Mrs. Kippy still here? She's still here. <sighs> and her silly little socks. She's supposed to be the she's supposed to have left like an almost an hour ago. big blue giant. Um, I'm actually going up here. 
It's down here, though. Fine, we'll go in here. Oh, spider with the Gauss rifle. Uh, you are number 17. We've already seen you, so go to your bingo cards, click the number you need, and good luck. And I've missed that on Xanthi. I'm getting a bingo, so congratulations there. We get another winner here, and we'll start up a new card. I just missed all these planets. So. Okay, gas, volcanic, barren stuff. Rocky eyes, and barren. So crappy system overall. I'll take a look at this gas giant and see what it has as far as mining possibilities go. Nope. Okay then. Next. Check out the orange star next. We're getting close to the report time. Yes, yeah, soon. Spider can't have a gauss? Sure it can. Nothing in the rules say you have to be able to move in order to use a gauss cannon. Yeah, there's not going to be anything in here. But we'll jump in just in case. something on the other side of the star, but I'm not going to worry about it. It's too close. There's no gates here, so that's what we're looking at. Let's get out of here. Oops. You say oops quite often. Do you need assistance? Okay, next. So we want to go to this one. We do have supplies. We're good on supplies at 3,000. Uh, it looks like it might be a decent system. Fingers crossed. Okay, Mrs. Gimpy's leaving. Bye, Mrs. Gimpy. Have fun. Okay, she's leaving officially now. And the funny part is we can turn the dog cam on. Somebody's already ready for her to leave. There. Look, it's Rocket. Okay, so cryovolcanic, arid world. So potential colony there. Barren, frozen, could be a colony as well. Tundra. So we have a possible three colonies in the system. Maybe. And I thought she was leaving. Just a second. She's trying to instruct me on, it's fairly nice out there now, so leave the front door open. But if it gets cold, you can close it. I just looked at her like, yeah, I know how a door works. <laughs> She's just trolling me. Okay, so I'm go check out the arid world first and go. Push to open. Well, actually, it's push to open. It's push to close, pull to open when you're inside. Nice survey. So not a horrible planet for a colony. So explore the oops, no, 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 go back. Explore the ruins. I don't care about ship recovery, it's a tanker. That we don't need. And there she goes, maybe. 
Okay, so we're going to build an outpost here. So that stuff. So why an outpost and not a colony? Because we don't have enough people in the crew and the fleet right now to build an outpost. Or sorry, a colony. So we put a colony or outpost up here just to help us uh, explore the area too without having to go all the way back to civilization currently. So now she can't make her mind up what she's doing. She's confusing the hell out of Rocket. Tundra World, go check you out. And somebody's following us again, I think. Hello, Gimpy. It is time to take a break. Go get some more water while you are up. So this is another potential Your next good break is in two hours. It's, it's not a good colony, but it's not a horrible one. But a class four plan is pretty nice. So we'll definitely, well, we already had the system marked with an outpost, so that's no problem there. Explore the ruins. Stuff. And there's no gate in the system, is there? Nope. Okay, so I do need to take a break, but we're going to survey this planet real quick and let's see what that's got. Eh, the view sets, what? No bonus, no penalty. Okay, so we'll stop here, take a break, get the scout report uh, prediction up here in a second. And then we get back. Um, we're going to switch over to for Warhammer 40k uh, Rogue Trader? Rogue Trader. Yeah, Alpha. That's the Alpha version of that. I was given a key for it to check it out, and we'll be taking a look at that for the next uh, at least an hour, I'm going to guess, depending on how much content. I'm not expecting a lot, and we'll see how stable it is. Um, I played it a little bit the other day, and it was no issues, so we'll see. But in the meantime... Let's get the scout report up and running here. Anybody asking, what's scout? Scout is a cat that lives here in our complex. She's not a stray. She does have a home. However, about uh, four or four hours, four years ago, um, she adopted Mrs. Gimpy. And as a result, she's in our condo and on our porch on a regular basis looking for food. And Mrs. Gimpy is more than happy to accommodate her, despite what Mrs. Gimpy may say. <laughs> and... Uh, but uh, every day at approximately this time, we make predictions of whether Scout's been seen because it's fun. And even though some countries think this is gambling, it is not because acorns have no value, despite what they may think. Unless you're a squirrel. See, so I'm just typing up the stuff. Dump, dump, dump. Anyway, so the general idea is uh, to make prediction whether she's been seen. She's currently on a eight. 18 day streak of being seen longest streak ever is 106 days so nowhere close to that uh, weather here is uh, nice during the day cold at night um, or at least cold for us and um, anyway scout report will have the results here in a few minutes after i get back from break so thank you all very much for watching enjoy the dog video and make a prediction by clicking the predict button at the top of your chat window okay be back shortly thanks for watching